Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a timeless pick a card or reading on the next 72 hours from the time that you watch this video. So again, this is a timeless pick a card reading about the next 72 hours. You guys are going to have five piles to choose from and I am using glitters from the TV show Euphoria. I'm also going to attach some photos of the cast of the show Euphoria. So if you don't want to choose between the glitters, you can choose between certain cast members that will be attached to the top above your pile. Pile number one, this is going to be the glitter and the character for pile number one. This glitter is in the color Houdini and Jules and Rue both wear this glitter on the show. So there's a lot of scenes and photo shoots of both Jules and Rue using this glitter on their face. And it is in the shade Houdini. And the character for pile number one will be Rue. Pile number two, you guys are going to be this beautiful red glitter. And this glitter is in the shade Roosevelt. So the red glitter named Roosevelt for pile number two. And the character for pile number two will be Cat. So the character Cat for pile number two. Pile number three, you are going to be this swampy green looking glitter. This glitter shade is called Gel Bait, and the character I'm choosing for pile number three will be Fezco. So Fezco character from Euphoria for pile number three, the Gel Bait color. So Fezco, and this is the glitter for pile number three. Pile number four will be this black glitter. So the black glitter for pile number four. And the shade is called Debonair. So Debonair for the glitter for pile number four. And the character I'm choosing for this is Maddie. So the character, Euphoria character Maddie is for pile number four. And last but not least is this really pretty white rainbowish type of glitter. The glitter shade is called Adult film so the shade adult film for pal number five and the euphoria character that i'm choosing for this one will be jules so the euphoria character jules the glitter shade adult film is for pal number five so go ahead and choose which pile you feel most intuitively drawn to and we will go ahead and get to your reading Welcome pile number one. If you chose the Houdini glitter with the character Rue, this is going to be your timeless reading on the next 72 hours from when you watch this video. A lot of you are going to be studying information or collecting information or either communicating some sort of information. This could be on websites, online forms, this could be with books, tutorials, videos, something. But something about you studying information, communicating information, or collecting, or maybe even organizing some sort of information or knowledge. Some of you are going to be solving problems that you guys are having or that people you know are having. So I feel like you're going to be a problem solver over the next couple of days. You guys are going to get creative with the way you speak. You're going to be creative with the way you communicate. And this is going to help you solve a problem or help a loved one or someone at work or someone you know solve a problem. Some of you are going to be getting information when it comes to taking care of your body or taking care of your health. A lot of you are going to start taking control of your health or taking control of your body. So I feel like over the next 72 hours, you are going to enter some sort of gateway into communication or knowledge or information or problem solving. A lot of you are going to stop holding yourself back. You're just going to go for something. You're going to be spontaneous and stop holding yourself back and just go for something. 
Some of you are being guided to speak out, especially with this card next to it. You're being guided to communicate and speak out about something. You need to be releasing your fears when it comes to talking about something or communicating or speaking up about something. You need to be releasing your fears with that or that's what you're going to be doing. Some of you may end up having a bonfire or get the fireplace going. Some of you could be a fire sign or you need to get more in touch with the fire element over the next 72 hours. Some of you can do this by meditating with candles or meditating like around a fireplace, a fire pit, a bonfire. Some of you may end up praying by candlelight. Some of you are going to find that you are connected to Athena or something about you being connected to the temple of Athena. And because of this, you guys would be really good with pyromancy. So some of you may try pyromancy or learn pyromancy. And this will help you get visions or messages from the spiritual realm. You're going to have a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, prosperity, fertility, confidence over the next 72 hours. If this isn't you, it could be a loved one around you that will be embodying this energy. I could be speaking to my divine masculines or you could have a masculine in your life, a loved one masculine in your life that is going to be in that type of energy. Some of you may have a masculine give you a gift or give you money or something like that. Others of you are going to be taking some sort of risk over the next 72 hours. This is also a third confirmation about speaking out and really expressing yourself. So you're really going to be communicating and expressing yourself and speaking out over the next 72 hours. It's, very, it's a very prominent energy in pile number one. And you're really going to be moving with confidence here as well. I also feel like your love life or your relationships is going to be going well or doing better. If you are a divine masculine watching this, you have some sort of protection around you, some sort of divine protector in your energy. So if you are a divine masculine, there is something protecting you or guarding you or guiding you spiritually. And if you are a divine feminine watching this that picked this pile, you are being asked to embrace your masculine side and become very confident and become a risk taker. So there's going to be some sort of positive action or positive communication that's going to bring a very good change in your life. If there has been arguments within a relationship or within your family, I feel like you're going to solve those arguments or they will get solved in some type of way. So for some of you, it will get solved. Other, others of you, you may end up re-evaluating the relationship you're in or who you're dating or re-evaluating your workplace or your friendships or your family members or something. So things are going to get solved or you're going to be re-evaluating them to where they can get solved but i'm seeing where communication is key over the next 72 hours for you guys you're also going to be very beautiful looking very beautiful or handsome or feeling very beautiful or handsome over the next 72 hours some of you have been doing some sort of beauty routines or beauty rituals that are helping or manifesting here you're also being called to believe in yourself and also believe the magic that you have within you and the magic that surrounds you. You need to be believing in yourself and the magic. You're also going to be having the ability to see through illusions, okay? You're going to be able to tap into other re realities or realms. And you're going to be able to bring magic and beauty into everything you touch because of this. A lot of you need to be taking some sort of action to make your dreams come true. Also, you guys are a very powerful mirror for other people at this time. You are a very powerful mirror to the people around you, or you guys are a powerful influence to the people around you. Um, some of you may actually be struggling with your appearance. If, you're, if you feel like you're struggling with your appearance, you need to stop focusing so much on beauty and focus on the magic that you have within you. Because something about your literal magic or everything you touch is magic or you are magic for other people. So uh, that is very important or very powerful. Okay, we also have the crow-hopes. So some of you may feel like 
you have lost an opportunity or something to make your dreams come true, but that's not true. You just need to be taking some sort of risk. So if you are worried that you cannot manifest your dreams, you need to know that you can. You just need to tap in more into your masculine energy or you need to balance your feminine and masculine energy and don't give up, okay? Don't give up and take some sort of risk here. Again, there could be some sort of trouble or crisis within your relationship. So whether that's a love, family, friends, work, but again, these problems will be solved through communication or it will be solved through you reevaluating people in your life, okay? Some of you could be connected to Hecate here. Hecate did come out. It says, change is important. Release the past. And we also have sunshine, okay? Some of you could be from a very sunny or warm type of climate or state or country. Uh, some of you could be traveling to something like that. It says, be the sun that humanity needs when the world seems dark and cloudy. Shine bright and be the light. So a lot of you guys are going to be that light for other people. You're going to be a problem solver for other people and yourself. And you're going to be a light for other people and yourself. And we have eternal love, a powerful love that will never come to an end. It can transform but never die. So some of you, if you are in a relationship or if you are dating someone, this is a eternal love. So if you guys have been having issues or problems, I feel like it, it is going to be solved or worked out, okay? Um, because whatever this is, this love will never die. That is a message for some of you, not all of you. Okay, but that is your reading, Pal 1. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. And we are going to move on to Pal number two. Welcome, Pal number two. If you chose the red glitter Roosevelt, which is the character cat from Euphoria, this is going to be your timeless reading for the next 72 hour predictions. Over the next 72 hours, you guys are going to be keeping what you know to yourself. This could be knowledge, information something you are keeping something to yourself for the moment you guys know more than other people who are opposite than you or who is opposing you so something about you have more information or you know more about something than your enemies or your ops others of you this is out because you have a passion for knowledge with other people so you could be linking up with people that have the same passion um, of knowledge of the same things that you guys want to educate yourself on or the same things you like to learn about or read about. I feel like you're going to be meeting people that are like-minded. Some of you over the next 72 hours, you are going to be reading more um, like esoteric type of books or occult type of books or something like that. Maybe some sort of witchcraft books. I don't know, but you guys are going to be reading some sort of like spirituality or esoteric type of books or learning about these things. Something about before Christ is significant. <laughs> uh, something about the ancient library of Alexandria could be significant as well. So some of you are going to be learning or reading about some sort of ancient knowledge. Others of you are going to be gaining some sort of information, new information, new knowledge or whatever um, that's going to allow you to be more discerning with something. You guys also need to know that you're spot on with something, whether it's your intuition, whether it's the information you have, whether it's a gut feeling, you are very spot on about something. But whatever it is, it's like other people are saying that it's not true or you don't know what you're talking about or some I don't know or maybe people I don't know the whole situation for everyone but it's like other people have opposing information or opposing beliefs or opposing something compared to you but I feel like you you have you like know more than other people or you have some sort of information that other people don't have you guys are sticking to what you know and what you understand and you're spot on with something and you, you need to know that you're not mistaken about something because there's people around you that have not woken up to the truth about something going on, but you need to know that you're right and you're spot on and you're accurate with whatever that is. Some of you are going to be gaining some new information about something or it could have to do with like um, a book that you read as well. 
I'm also seeing where you guys are channeling something. You are channeling information or channeling some sort of knowledge or you're able to channel something ancient here. Or you guys are able to enchant items or enchant things around you that you have. Or this may be something that you end up doing over the next 72 hours is enchanting something that you have. You're also going to realize that not everything has to be on you. Not everything has to be done by you or through you and not you don't have to do everything all the time. Um, some of you are like this because you want to control everything. Others of you are like this because you feel like you don't have a choice and you just have to do everything. Um, but you need some sort of, you need to like share some sort of workload. So over the next 72 hours, you will be sharing the workload with other people or you need to be accepting some sort of assistance from others because a lot of you need to be reserving your energy you're working too much or you're controlling something too much um, and you're not reserving your energy and I feel like you're you're going to realize this over the next 72 hours or you're going to allow yourself not to control something so much or you're going to allow others to help you or um, work with you or something like that okay or for others of you if people aren't like doing their part you may be communicating something about hey you know all this workload isn't meant to just be on me so some of you may have to like communicate with other people to share some sort of workload but others of you may be like control freaks and you rather it's like you've been taking on the workload yourself <laughs> because of that and you need to stop doing that or you're going to stop doing that you're also going to find that everything you need in life right now, you already have or it's in your present moment or it's coming in presently. Also, there's something going on with you feeling like you're changing. Some of you feel different recently. Um, you feel like you're changing or you feel different. Some of you are going to be standing up for yourself over the next 72 hours. Or you are like taking the will of your life. You're taking control of your life. You know, you are realizing that you are the power behind your reality, behind your life. And you're going to be taking accountability or responsibility or just doing whatever it is you need to do. If there's something you don't like about yourself or about your life or a certain aspect of, about your life, I feel like you're going to realize that you're going to have to take action to change it. Uh, some of you could be working with some sort of like dragon spirits or some of you could be working with dragon's blood. Over the next 72 hours, you really need to be believing in yourself and your power and your strength. A lot of you guys are holding some sort of sword of truth. So you have the truth about something. Okay, you're holding the sword of truth or you have the truth or you're sitting on some sort of truth. Some of you are just going to be getting really honest with yourself and you're going to be cutting forth a path um, in order to get honest with yourself. Some of you are going to be cutting through any type of frustrations or confusions. Just be aware of how you use your tongue when communicating with other people, okay? Um, try to make sure that you're not gossiping too much over the next 72 hours. Um, something about you need to be holding your tongue, okay? You guys know the truth about something and you need to be holding your tongue right now um, or you need to be speaking at the right time or at the right moment or saving that information for the right time because I feel like you are going to speak about something but something about the timing is important. So hold on to your truth or this information um, at the time for the time being because you're going to be able to speak about something or talk about something but it's like the timing about this is very important some of you may feel like you've been stretching yourself thin for people or for family or at a workplace or something like that and i feel like you're going to be solving that issue over the next 72 hours you guys also got the frequency card it says the higher the sound the higher the frequency keep yourself in tune and create the best energy so i feel like this is tied in with these cards as well like Make sure you keep your frequency high. Something about staying away from gossip. You need to be staying away from gossip or you need to make sure you're not gossiping over the next 72 hours. Because again, some of you have some things to say or some truths to be told or whatever. But it's like, again, something about the timing is important. 
and then when you have Just Like Magic, I feel like that's an Ariana Grande song, Just Like Magic. Okay, that could be significant to someone. It says, tapping into your manifestation abilities and attracting everything you want because you believe you deserve to have all that the universe has to give you. Make it happen. You are magic, okay? I feel like if you are working with some sort of dragon spirits or if you're a dragon in Chinese Zodiac or if you use dragon's blood, it's like very powerful or potent for my pile number twos, which is interesting because you guys did choose red <laughs> and red makes me think of dragon's blood or dragons in general. Um, you guys have been dealing with some sort of narcissistic person or you've been dealing with an energy vampire, whether that's at work, whether it's friends, whether it's a community. I don't know. Family doesn't matter, but this could be who you have the information on or you have the truths on or something like that. Yeah. Threats. Full moon. Harvest the fruits of your hard work. So I do feel like you guys are going to be manifesting something from your hard work. You're going to end up getting a promotion, a raise, a bonus, a gift, a donation, a tip, something. Or your hard work could be paying off in other ways. Like, for an example, if you're on social media, maybe your follower count goes up or your subscriber count goes up. Or more people start to notice um, your content or your business. It's like your hard work could be paying off in different ways, whether it's financially, whether it's you getting acknowledged, okay? So different things for different people. But again, I do feel like you guys have something on this energy vampire or this egotistical narcissistic person. It could be a man. It could be a masculine. Okay. Uh, this person may see you as a threat or something. Maybe they did something to you. Okay. Or maybe they threatened you or did something to you. Or maybe they feel like you're a threat. Or maybe this is someone who would try to threaten you if you were to speak up about something or if you were to gossip about something. I heard there's there's something that stinks. There's some sort of BS that stinks. I'm hearing the truth stinks. <laughs> you guys know the truth and something about the truth stinks. And it has something to do about this man. Okay, Virginia could be significant. Virginia or West Virginia could be significant to somebody or maybe somewhere in the south could be significant to somebody. You guys could also be seeing or hearing owls a lot as well. And I also feel like you guys are going to be paving the way to your destiny and doing what you need to do in order to cut through a path or pave some sort of way to your destiny over the next 72 hours. You're going to be making something happen. Or some of you have already been doing this and you've been putting in the hard work and you're going to see it pay off here very soon. So that's everything for pile number two. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. Love you guys so much. And we are going to move on to pile number three. Welcome pile number three. For those that chose the green glitter, it's like a swampish looking green in the color gel bait and this was the euphoria character fezco this is going to be your timeless reading poll number three on your next 72 hours predictions you are becoming closer and closer to source make sure that you are not controlling anything just trust and let go but you are it's like your soul is healing you're doing some sort of healing with your soul um, some of you could be going to an ocean, a sea, a beach, something. Uh, she's like a mermaid here. Um, something about water could be healing for you guys, or you could be going to water over the next 72 hours, or you could be going outside with nature over the next 72 hours. It'll be very healing for you. And something about it's bringing you closer to source here, or you are being initiated to become a higher version of yourself, or you're healing yourself, which is allowing you to become a higher version of yourself. Some of you could be spending time with your mother, your grandmother, the mother of your child, or if it's your partner, your person, and they're a mother, um, you're going to be spending time with them for some of you. Or some of you may be defining your boundaries with a mother figure over the next 72 hours. So either you guys are going to be spending time with a mother figure or you're going to be creating boundaries with a mother figure. 
Again, this could be your mother, your grandmother. This could be uh, your child's mother or if you're dating someone and that person is a mother. So take what resonates. Or this could be about you spending time with Mother Earth. So definitely take it how it may resonate. Some of you are going to be welcoming in a newborn, okay? Whether this is you, whether it's a family member, a friend, okay? Someone could have just had a baby or they're gonna be having a baby over the next 72 hours, a loved one, a friend, a family member, you, a pet, okay? Someone's pet could be having babies. Someone could be having a baby over the next 72 hours. Either you or somebody you know, or maybe this recently happened. If this did recently happen, I feel like you are going to be very close to um, this child or these children. You're going to be have like a close relationship to them. You guys are also going to be giving or receiving unconditional love. Or you are going to be healing through unconditional love. Or something about somebody's loving energy is going to be very healing for you. Or your loving energy may be very healing for someone else. Some of you are going to be nourishing yourself, nourishing yourself or mothering yourself over the next 72 hours. Some of you are going to be experiencing very lucid dreams. Some of you may end up receiving flowers or buying flowers or collecting, gathering flowers or herbs. Or maybe even like mushrooms, fungi, something. A lot of you guys are going to be embracing and enjoying the new season. It could be springtime, it could be summertime, whenever you're watching this. A lot of you may end up sharing yourself with the world. This could be on the internet. For others of you, you're going to be sharing yourself with Mother Earth and connecting with Mother Earth. A lot of you are going to feel, you're either going to learn this or you're going to feel this, but you're going, you're going to be feeling how everything is interconnected. A lot of you are going to be recognizing your own sovereignty, your own power, a lot of you are going to be balancing um, a give and take ratio in your life. Some of you will be creating a sacred space for yourself or for your energy. So some of you may be creating a sacred space for yourself inside or outside somewhere. Some of you could be a Sagittarius or has Sagittarius in your chart. You guys could end up traveling over the next 72 hours or you're going to be prioritizing things or making lists of what's important in your life or what needs to get done. You're gonna be walking away from anything that takes you away from your main focus. So anything that's distracting you, you're gonna be getting rid of or you're going to uh, <laughs> stand your ground with or something, okay? You're gonna be very straight and to the point you got some of you are going to, going to actually be detoxing your mind. Some of you may be like detoxing your body, detoxing your spirit, your mind. Some of you are going to be detoxing like bad thinking patterns or pessimism or something like that. It's like your positive thinking is going to be very beneficial to you. You need to be more optimistic than usual or you may find yourself to be more optimistic over the next 72 hours okay some of you may be practicing meditation or you need to be some of you that pick this pile could be connected to babylon somehow some of you that pick this pile may be native american or some of your ancestors were make sure that your actions and your words are very direct and focused over the next 72 hours as well and then over here we have, you are the spell. You have somebody bewitched by your authentic charms. They think you put them under a spell. Truth is, they don't even know. They have fallen in love with you. So somebody is definitely falling in love with you. So next time they ask you if you put a spell on them, simply say, honey, I am the spell. And then we have me, myself, and I. It says, don't feel bad for pulling yourself away from everything and everyone. Uh, that's funny because you guys got focused. So I feel like you guys are doing this to people that are just a distraction to you. Anyone that's negative in your life or anyone that's distracting you in your life, you're going to be pulling yourself away from those type of people or those type of environments, okay? It says your body is trying to adjust to the new energy. You may find yourself extra sensitive right now. Enjoy this phase as you discover who you are and what you want. Some of you may be shy when it comes to love. 
Um, there may be somebody that has a crush on you and it could be making you feel shy for some of you. Or somebody, yeah, there could be somebody around you. Either they feel shy when it comes to you or you feel shy when it comes to them. And also, we have first quarter. It's time to commit. So some of you may end up in a commitment over the next 72 hours. You may end up in a relationship, a commitment. You may end up going on a date. You may end up having a secret admirer or they may end up confessing the fact that they admire you. Okay, but this person is shy when it comes to you or you may be shy when it comes to them because you look really good or this person looks really good. Um, but you guys, you're going to be receiving some sort of awareness or clarity or reassurance when it comes to love or a love interest or somebody that you're already with. Um, and some of you are going to be taking it to the next level or the next phase of commitment. But there's definitely someone that's shy about your beauty or you are shy about this person's beauty. So take what resonates. Um, some of you could be an earth sign, but you don't have to be. Some of you could be a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Um, but that's everything. I love you guys so much. If you enjoy the reading, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. And we are going to move on to pile number four. Welcome, pile number four. If you chose the black glitter, which is going to be the Euphoria character, Maddie, this is going to be your timeless reading on the next 72-hour predictions. Your search for something is almost over. You guys have spent way too long looking for something in the wrong places, and now is the time to sense through your heart using the natural elements as your guide. And doing this will point you in the right direction and you need to be walking your path of destiny. Make sure that you are walking in the path of your destiny. If not, I feel like you're about to find the path to your destiny very soon. Make sure that you are creating zero attachments to the paths of other people because they may lead you astray or lead you far more to barren lands. You need to make sure that you are seeking your own unique path and allow other people to seek their own unique path as well because other people's paths aren't necessarily your path. So something about you finding your own unique path over the next 72 hours. And something about nature or water would guide you. So go out to a stream, a river, a sea, an ocean, a beach, a lake, something because it may help you. Or if you do some sort of water scrying, you may get visions of the path that you're supposed to be on. Something that you have been seeking, you're about to find, or it's about to find you. Just make sure that you don't give up because you're almost there. Some of you may end up finding a lost item or something that was lost or stolen may come back to you. Or something that you thought was lost, you may end up finding or you are going to be finding the right information that you've been looking for. So if something lost or stolen doesn't show up, then this is you finding the right information that you've been looking for. Some of you may be reconciling with someone. Some of you may actually be reconciling with a lover for some of you, not all of you. Or some of you may be reconciling with a family member. Uh, some of you, not all of you. Some of you that pick this pile, you are connected to ancient tribesmen that were located in North Africa. Or some of you may even be connected to Egypt. Or some of you may even be connected to Jesus or Moses or something like that. Something from the Bible may be significant to someone here. Some of you may actually end up finding a magical item or a magical artifact. You will be finding something like that or you will be buying something like that. Or you will be creating something like that. Some of you are being protected against curses being thrown at you. Okay, so if there's been a witch out here throwing curses at you, you are protected from this. Or if you've done any type of protection spells or uncrossing spells, it's working. Some of you could be being distracted because you're looking at other people's destiny or other people's life paths, and that could be distracting you. If that, if that is not the case, then there's people in your life that could be distracting you from your, your destiny. Um, so either you're being distracted by looking at other people's, like what they got going on, or 
people could be distracting you from you going on the path to your destiny. So just like take where it resonates. I also feel like somebody is fascinated by you. They're mesmerized and fascinated by you. This could be a lover or love interest. And what's really funny is with the Dowsing Rods Seeker card, you also have manifestation. What you seek is seeking you. You guys, <laughs> something you've been looking for, something that you've been wanting in your life, it's been wanting you too. It's been looking for you too. And I feel like you and your manifestation or you and your destiny is going to collide and meet in the next 72 hours. Some of you are going to be redirecting your attention to things that are going to be more focused on your life path, your life purpose, your destiny. Some of you are realizing that your attention is going to places they don't need to be going or you're being distracted by other people or you are dealing with disruptions in your work life or your hobbies or projects, something like that. But I feel like over the next 72 hours, you are going to be deflecting unwanted energies, such as disruptions and distractions. And you're also going to be redirecting your attention to what's really important, which is your destiny here. Something about the Star of David could be significant to this pile. You need to know that your heart holds all the answers that you are looking for, or you need to be following your heart. You also need to be remembering the importance of having balance in your life or balance in your relationships. Some of you will be relating to other people. Some of you will be bonding with people or relating to other people over the next 72 hours. Your heart chakra is going to be active and open during this time. And because of that, you are going to be alchemizing something or manifesting something with your heart chakra. You guys are going to be balancing and blending both feminine and masculine energies. You're unifying this in order to manifest and alchemize something. Also, you're going to be very focused on your relationships. Uh, whether you're single or not, it doesn't matter. But you will be focused on relationships or love. Or you may be trying to find balance when it comes to your love life. Some of you may be using or buying those cone incense. This card is also telling me that you're going to be very focused on what you want to put your energy towards. You're not going to be allowing disruptions and distractions and other things grabbing your attention. You're only going to be focused on where you want to put your energy. You're going to be highly concentrating on something. So very focused and very concentrated. Your energy is very focused and activated during this time. Someone here could be 34 or 21 years old, but you don't have to be. But some of you may end up having a lot of physical energy or mental energy. So you're going to find yourself having a lot of high energy during this time. But make sure that you're using this increase of energy. Make sure you are utilizing this to its highest good and make sure that you are using this energy to focus on your intentions and what you want to accomplish and if you're feeling like creative make sure that you are um, engaging in a creative outlet or creative activities if you end up feeling creative during this time for some of you this is fresh new energy in your love life so some of you are manifesting a fresh new energy in your love life or in a current relationship some of you are manifesting a fresh new person, a fresh new partner into your life. A lot of you are going to find a place or environment that's going to really nourish you. And some of you, even though you're going to have an increase of energy, I feel like you're going to be using that to your highest good and you're going to be letting other people take the lead or take the charge with something or take the acknowledgement with something so that you can feed and nourish something with this activated energy. Some of you are also going to be giving back, okay? Some of you have been taking something, whether it's in love, whether it's in work, whether it's in finances, something, or energy. Some of you may have been taking something, but you're going to be giving it back um, in order to balance something out. Or someone's going to be doing that to you, okay? If someone's been taking your energy or your finances or whatever, they're going to be balancing this out by giving back to you. So something about a give and take ratio will be balanced over the next 72 hours could be with a lover could be with a coworker, family friend anybody 
This card says bleeding love. It actually kind of reminds me of Maddie. Because, <laughs> I mean, Maddie did get her heart broken a lot on the show. Um, it says bleeding love. You know there's a love that needs to be let go of. Thinking about it hurts your soul to the max. Holding on will only make you bleed out. Save yourself before it's too late. So a lot of you guys are going to be saving yourself and healing from a love situation. We also have a dead inside. It says, stop putting on a lively front when you feel dead inside. Start bringing yourself back to life again. Resurrect that part of you that has been killed. Live again, bitch. <laughs> so a lot of you have been feeling dead inside or empty inside because of a love situation or because of a partner or either because of a unbalanced situation in your life. But I feel like you're getting a fresh new energy when it comes to your love life or maybe even when it comes to a workplace for some of you. Uh, we even have celebration, fruits of labor and longevity, reliability here. Okay, so you're going to be able to rely on this new energy, whether it's a new partner, a new person, a new job, um, whoever this is or whatever this is, you're going to be able to rely on this person or this job. Some of you are going to be celebrating over the next 72 hours, celebrating um, something that you accomplished or something that you got um, or some sort of milestone or celebrating maybe even a birthday or a special occasion for some of you over the next 72 hours. Some of you may end up like going to a party or partying a little bit for some of you. But that is your reading pal number four. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. I love you guys so much. And you can pick more than one pile if you want to or if you're drawn to. And we're about to move on to pile number five. Welcome pile number fives. If you chose the white rainbow glitter in the shade adult film, also, if you chose the Euphoria character, Jules, this is going to be your timeless reading on your next 72 hours predictions. So you guys have down and dirty. Some of you could be playing soccer or be playing some sort of sport or playing games or something or playing outside over the next 72 hours. It says, don't be afraid of a little dirt, okay? Sometimes one must be willing to get down and dirty to win and to score. So some of you may have to get a little, a little dirty, okay? Some of you may end up having to play dirty over the next 72 hours or get a little dirty over the next 72 hours in order to win something. It says flying high. It says if you have ever been set back and dealt with delays, uh-oh, why did I just heard airplane delay? Someone here may end up dealing with a, a flight delay, an airplane delay, okay, at the airport. Something about a plane delay for some of you. It says, you've been set back and dealt with delays. Things will be begin to speed up, and before you know it, you will be flying high. So hold on tight and don't look down, okay? And then we have Angel's Trumpet. Somebody's name could be Angel. Or somebody's guardian angel could be around them at this time. Some of you may end up having suspicions about a musician or a artist or a singer or something. You may end up having some sort of suspicions or turmoil with a musician or a singer or a band or an artist or somebody that's in the music industry. And if that doesn't resonate, this is you having some sort of suspicion or turmoil with somebody that is trying to maybe they're trying to like block you from speaking your truth or they could be trying to block you from expressing yourself and you may be like picking up on that you may be picking up on the fact that somebody doesn't want you talking about something or speaking out about something and then we have trust okay you could be seeing butterflies or pink butterflies or purple butterflies or someone here could have a butterfly tattoo it says trust. The universe has a plan for you. So you need to make sure that you have trust and you have faith over the next 72 hours. I'm also noticing the color yellow. Something about the color yellow is very prominent or significant to this pile. Some of you could be a water sign that chose this pile. Some of you could be an air sign that chose this pile. So my water signs, my air signs could have chose this pile, but you don't have to be that. Some of you may end up collecting seashells or 
looking for seashells, you may end up at the beach or a lake or a river or some sort of body of water. You may be connecting with water. You may be connecting with a water sign for some of you, or you may be, for some of you, you may end up <laughs> playing dirty with a water sign, or you may end up having some sort of suspicions with a water sign or turmoil with a water sign or an air sign. Okay, so either I feel like you guys could be a water or air sign or you're going to be having issues with one. So take what resonates, okay? I'm also hearing your, your prayers will be answered with the smoke card. So something you've been praying for is going to be given to you or your prayers will be answered in some type of way over the next 72 hours. You are protected, especially if you're dealing with a water sign or an air sign, you are protected from them. Some of you need to use water to cleanse your energy or to purify yourself or to purify your energy. You need to be using some sort of water, whether that is a body of water, going to a body of water or going to, I just, I don't know, I just heard the Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine. This card is giving me St. Augustine Fountain of Youth vibes. Um, that could be significant to somebody or maybe somebody lives around there. Um, or some of you may be guided to buy or use holy water or Florida water or moon water or eclipse water or something, okay? Um, it's going to help cleanse and purify yourself or your energy. Or if anybody is trying to create blockages for you or if any, anybody is trying to shut you up, something about water would be very cleansing for you. A lot of you could actually end up cleaning a lot. You could be doing spring cleaning or whenever you're watching this, it doesn't matter, but you could be doing some sort of deep cleaning or deep cleaning would be beneficial to your energy. Cleaning something or cleansing your energy would be very beneficial for something to change in your life. Some of you are being gifted the gift of clarity, the gift of intuition or the gift of clarity when it comes to a situation. A lot of you guys are going to let go of control and you're going to start going with the flow of things. And I do feel like shortly after you see this reading, you are going to receive a blessing. So some of you will end up receiving some sort of blessing shortly after seeing this reading. Some of you need to be taking some sort of spirit bath or spirit shower or cleansing yourself. You know, again, like I said earlier, with a body of water. Some of you actually may be drinking spring water or going to a spring or something about spring water is significant or beneficial. And with holy stone and holy water, I'm hearing a double blessing. So you guys are receiving a double blessing after this video. Sometime in the next 72 hours, a double blessing is coming in for you. And right when I said that a double blessing was coming in for you, my alarm clock on my phone went off and it about scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but that's just a huge confirmation when the alarm clock went off that there is a double blessing coming in for you guys, pile number five. Also, you need to be protecting your projects or you need to know that your projects are protected, whatever that means to some of you. A lot of you are going to be standing in your psychic powers or using your psychic powers um, in order to be fully aware of energies that are circulating around you or the people that you care about. And a lot of you need to be utilizing this spiritual psychic sensitivity that you're experiencing. You need to be utilizing this and not be scared of it. Or you need to be utilizing this because you need to use it while this is heightened and sensitive. Also, certain environments may be heightening your sensitivity to your um, spiritual or psychic abilities. So certain em environments, especially if there's water involved, is helping you. Some of you are connected to Hecate or Cared One that picked this pile because I am picking up on the dark crone goddesses. And these goddesses are assisting you at this time. Some of you may be even experiencing uh things moving around in your house or you may be seeing spirits or something i'm seeing where that's either hecate or cared one like you could have a door that opens or a cabinet door that opens or something something could be going on in your home something like supernatural or you could be seeing somebody like walking in your house and then they're not there or you could be hearing something i don't know but if you work with hecate or cared one that's them is what I'm seeing. Um, you're very, very psychically and spiritually sensitive at this time. So some of you may be literally seeing 
You may be literally seeing Hecate or Cared One. You also need to know that you're protected. Your boundaries are going to remain strong or you may be setting some sort of boundaries or setting down some sort of protection over the next 72 hours. Uh, but overall, I'm just seeing like a lot of blessings, like two major blessings are coming in for you um, or two major prayers that you, you've been praying about two things. Your two prayers are going to be answered or something like that. Some of you could be seeing things in the corner of your eye. You could be seeing things in the corner of your eye or you could be seeing movements within your home. Um, and it may be freaking you out, but it's 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 Hecate or Cared One or some something that you've been working with. So if this does happen to you or it's been happening to you, don't let this alarm you. It's just you guys are very connected to the astral realm to the point you're literally seeing things for some of you. And if it's not Hecate, if it's not Cared One, it could be an angel, a loved one, a passed over loved one, or some sort of guardian angel that you work with. It could definitely be them. Some of you may have some sort of suspicion when it comes to supernatural activity going on, but it's definitely an angel or Hecate or Cared One. It just depends on who's watching this because a lot of different people watch me, but I am picking up those energies. Uh, but that's everything for this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.